Good morning, all. Remember, it's a good morning every day that you can wake up and get out of bed and do something. So, you'll hear me say good morning a lot. Some people just say morning because, eh, they feel it's not a good morning. Well, every day my feet hit the floor and I can actually get vertical is a good morning. But... Well, here we go. We brought in eight pieces of our sealing material. Uh, my father and my wife, Robin, helped me out, got them in here. And I'll go over what we've done to them. But this is a machine shop, if you do not know. We, yesterday, we got the... J channel up all the way around the ceiling, which in all reality did not take very long. Uh, I learned something from the Amish when they were here doing some work for us, putting the steel roof on our house. And pretty interesting some of the things that they taught me, but uh, we staple our J channel on that was one of the things uh, the other thing is and I am going to show you if you notice all our lines when we get done if you see that are all really really straight and I wondered always how they done it um, because in the past we always put up a sheet and then you know, chalk lined it, put a chalk line or something to go by. And it took forever and the lines never were totally straight. Well, what I learned, again, from the Amish boys, was they pre-drill everything. So, there is still seven sheets left here. There were eight. But we went through and marked and pre-drilled all our holes so all eight sheets have you know all the holes drilled all the way through we made sure they were flush on this end and then started at one end measured and marked all these holes all the way down which in turn as long as our wall, or our starting point, which is that far corner and that coming across. Oops, get my finger out of there. Oops, stop focusing. Um, is level or uh, parallel or a 90 degree to that wall, all our lines will be totally straight across there. And that's one of the things that uh, I really liked about their suggestion. And it really makes it easy when you're hanging 20-foot pieces. We put them up on the drywall lift. And you can just start running screws through. You're not trying to fiddle fart around going, oh, you know, am I on the, the, the truss or am I on a floor joist in that? And then, of course, I'll go over how we mount our lights again. Um, we use a hole saw. And we put in old construction boxes. Uh, see if I can buzz around here. So they have the flippers on them. And I ended up buying a new 4 inch hole saw. Because I had a 4 and an 8 that I've been using. And it leaves the box a little loose. So we went with a 4 inch. But all you do is once you got your panel up. You know where your wire is, punch the hole, run the wire down, feed it through your box, push the box back up, done. But we're going to get back playing without here, here in a little bit. I have more pressing matters with the RK37 tractor. My favorite toy that I guess I use the most. Even though there's an excavator down there and we have other ones that we I use, but I use this thing the most. This is my right arm. When 
I need help and the wife is not capable of helping me and it has to do with lifting, this is my go-to person, you could say. But here and there. So she mowed 90% of the back pasture. And she said, hey, you need to get the boats and the trailers moved out of the way. So today, or this morning, I need to get out there, get the boats moved. We're going to be moving the boats and the trailers up over behind these trees here. The pasture keeps going back. Um, get them all moved over there out of the way. And... This big pile, this eyesore in front of you, we're going to burn today. So it is July 3rd, and hopefully we're going to have a little bonfire tonight and get rid of that. And then I can start putting the trailers back down here until I have to backfill that whole gravel pit area because part of that is where the building's going to go. And basically where the boat is is going to be a drive. So I've got to refill all that. Um, it was all excavated out for the pad that this building now sits on. And I guess hindsight 2020, I wish I would have moved it over further or went on the back side of the hill there and brought the dirt this way. But I didn't. So that's what we're doing. We're going to be moving all the boats. Uh, the Liberator, the Scarab, the Big Sea Ray, all the big, the two big goosenecks. All the little, you know, sidewinder boats and checkmate and, jeez, and this is only one one hundredth of the boats that I own. Um, get them over here and get them moved out of the way so we can burn that. And then we have a brush pile out front along the drive we want to get burned. So we're going to get the forks put back on this. Get that contraption back on it and go move some trailers. Well, we'll chat at you when I have this project done a minute this morning. I should say probably an hour because I've got to get an air tank and fill a tire or two. All right. Hope you're having a safe 4th of July weekend. Gremlin out.